Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I have for you three easy cards for summer. I'm going to use the same design and end up with three different looks. I am going to use products from the latest release by Simon Says Stamp. There are many different products in the release, but I'm going to show you my favorite ones. One of them is definitely this flower design, which is really sketchy and great for coloring with your favorite medium. And the second stamp set from the release that I really love is the one with the fruits. I like that uh, it gives you open fruits that you can color, as well as solid fruits that you can just stamp. And from the dies that have been released, this is definitely one of my favorites. There is also this one which is full of little dots and hearts. I think it's just adorable. You can create a little cloud of hearts for your cards. And finally, I want to show you this sentiment. This says thanks, but it comes in two different dies. And what I love about those is that you get the actual sentiment as well as the shadow. One that cuts out just a little bit border outside that uh, word, which is awesome for different techniques. Now, for today, I'm going to use the wreath as well as uh, the pineapple from the fruit stamp set. So I'm starting out by cutting out a panel for my card and since I have all the supplies out and ready to go, I'm going to create three different summer cards. Now for this card I'm going to use the wreath and um, I'm going to use this scrap piece of paper. I'm going to place the wreath on top and I'm going to use this paper as a stencil. Now I find that this uh, wreath is really versatile, it's a dye that you can use all year long to create your wreath, but you can also use it for summer. You will see lots of cards as if this dye is a wreath of uh, leaves, but today I'm going to show you another way. So let's imagine that these are splashes of water. To me they look like splashes and after all it's summer, so this is how I'm going to use it. Now I'm creating a stencil there and this is out of um, cardstock that is quite thick so I can use this stencil again and again. So for the first card I'm securing the stencil on top of my panel and I'm going to use my Nouveau Mousse. Now this is a really gorgeous color, it's definitely my favorite from all the colors in the range. I'm going to use a spatula and I'm going to go over my uh, stencil. Nouveau Mousse is really easy to apply, it uh, spreads like butter. And uh, the thicker the cardstock that you use to create your stencil, then the thicker the application of the Nouveau Mousse. I am making sure that I have a nice and uh, even application. And once everything is ready, I'm going to peel off the stencil and see the result. And I'm not going to throw away this stencil as I will be using it again and again. So I'm going to place it to one side to dry. And you can see here how beautiful the wreath looks. And since I had this stencil, I didn't want to throw it away before I use it to the max, so I decided to make even more cards, but in this case, I, instead of applying uh, Nouveau Mousse, I'm going to apply Glimmer Paste. Now, Glimmer Paste is a product by Nouveau again, but um, it has glitter inside, but it sticks nicely on top of your project, and once it dries, the glitter doesn't move at all. So in uh, this case I am going over my stencil with the darker of the blue colors that I have and you will find all the names of everything that I am using down below in the description area as well as on my blog. So again I am going over my wreath applying my glimmer paste then I am going to make sure that I remove the excess paste put it back in the jar and I am going to peel off the stencil and see the result. And I'm going to repeat that one more time, but this time with the lighter blue glimmer paste. Now, at this point, my cardstock is not as good as it was in the beginning, so it's a little bit um, warping just because it has uh, enough moisture on top. So I don't think that I would be able to use it again. And I think that I made the most out of it, so I can now throw it away. I'm going to make sure that I scrape off all the excess, put it back in my jar. And I have all three panels ready to go. And I think that these actually look like splashes instead of leaves, just because I used that color that enhanced the idea. And I'm trying to catch the light for you so you can see how shiny they all are. And now we need to turn all these panels into cards, which is a really easy task. All you need to do is to create a focal point and stick it at the center. And this is exactly what I'm going to do. So for the first card, I'm going to use the pineapple. 
And this comes from the Dancing Fruits stamp set that has been just released. This is a solid stamp, so I am going to stamp uh, a couple of times with uh, a yellow ink. And then with a darker ink, I'm going to touch up only the bottom of my pineapple. This way I'm going to create a shadow. And I can repeat this step again and again, since I'm working with my Misty, until I'm happy with uh, the darkness of the shadow down there. And now we can stamp the top of my pineapple by using uh, mint colors. And uh, I am using mint so that I can match the color of my wreath at the panel that I have already created. So I am using uh, mint first, the lighter mint that I have. Stamping it a couple of times until I get a nice impression. And then I'm going to switch to a darker mint and only touch up the bottom of my stamp. This way I'm going to again to add some shadow. So my pineapple doesn't look as flat as it would if I just used uh, uh, only two colors of ink pads, like yellow and green. Now I'm going to use my scissors to cut out my image. I'm going to leave a white border around it. And this is going to be my focal point. So now I'm going to place some uh, foam tips at the back just to add a little bit of dimension. I'm peeling off the backings. And I'm going to stick it at the center of my splash wreath. And just because I can, I'm going to turn my pineapple into a shiny pineapple by using my glitter pen. And then all I have to do is to complete my card by sticking this panel on top of my card base. For that I used mint cardstock that matches perfectly with all the elements on my panel. And I have a nice little card. I didn't stop a sentiment since there is already a sentiment on top of my pineapple. Now for the rest two cards I'm going to use the exact same idea. So I'm creating focal points for the center of those panels. And um, this is a really versatile design. And uh, it's great for grabbing all those summer sets that you have from previous years to create focal points. And that's exactly what I did here. I grabbed two Simon Says stamp, uh, stamp sets from previous years. And I'm going to use the sailboat for one card and the flip flops from the, for the other card. So I'm stamping everything with uh, Memento Black Ink because I am going to use my alcohol markers to color everything. And as you can see I have my sailboat ready there. I am going for a monochromatic look. So at the bottom of this uh, panel I'm going to stamp the sentiment and that comes from the same stamp set as the sailboat. And that says let your dreams set sail. And I am going to stamp it with uh, blue ink so everything matches perfectly. And again I am going to use some foam squares at the back of uh, my little sailboat and stick it at the center of my panel. And the final step I am using foam tape at the back of the panel and I am going to stick that on top of a blue cardstock. Again this is a standard card that's for a quarter by five and a half. And now let's finish off the last card. Again I'm using the exact same uh, idea. I have already colored and cut out my flip flops. I am stamping the sentiment here. And the sentiment comes from the same stamp set as the flip flops. Which is again from a previous release. I think it's from last summer or so. I stamped the sentiment with Versa marking and white embossed it. And I used the same colored cardstock as the card base. I have cut out my sentiment into a banner. I have added some foam tape at the back on all my elements. So I'm going to stick the flip flops at the center of my wreath. And then stick down the sentiment. So I hope I gave you a simple and a quick idea on how you can create summer cards. All you have to do is to browse, browse through your stamp sets and look for focal points. Add them at the center and you have beautiful summer cards. Quick and easy. And these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the cards that I made today. Here are two more videos if you need more inspiration and I'll see you all next time with an art journal. Thank you all for watching!